Hi guys, my name is Kate. Welcome to another episode of the Love Sewing Sewing Bee Roundup. I am back in the Craftworld studio and today we are going to run through episode three of series eight of the Great British Sewing Bee. This was summer week and in celebration, and particularly in celebration of Brogan, I'm wearing my lemons. Um, this I will have to admit that I cheated slightly. I didn't sew this one myself. It was uh, sewn by one of our seamstresses for a photo shoot and then I stole it. But who's going to blame me? It's got pockets. <laughs> um, just before we get going, please, 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 um, if you're watching this video, leave us a like, leave us a comment if you agree with what I'm saying, especially if you disagree with what I'm saying as we go along, please just join in the conversation let us know what you think and we have had to start again from scratch with this um youtube channel so we're trying to build back up our subscriber base because we got locked out of our old one <laughs> so please subscribe turn on bell notifications if you want to be notified every time we post a new video we are doing these sewing bee videos every week and i am also working on a video about my wedding dress which i have had to alter myself so that will be a fun ride and I'm, I am going to be doing a little review of this beautiful beastie at some point and after this I'm actually going to be uh, going live with Michelle who is our Love Sewing editor to join in with the big sew off which is in aid of mind so when you're watching this that will have already happened but you can go back and watch the recap and please please donate to the charity it's such a worthwhile cause and it'll be great to see you there so without further ado shall we get sassy about sewing bee and let's let's uh start unfortunately at the bottom I guess with Richie who I love Richie I think he's brilliant he's so good but the challenges so far haven't played to his strengths so Richie's pattern challenge he he gave it a darn good go in that amount of time and with a fabric that moves a fair bit. I don't think he did a terrible job. I don't think he did an amazing job. It would have needed some fixing before you could wear it. But I've given him a two out of five. Because this is... it's fine. His transformation challenge, for what it was, in terms of the challenge that they were given, the assignment, I think he got most of the way to there to meeting it. Um, I've given him a three. I thought it was all right. Now, his made to measure here. I think this is an example where the challenge that you're given on sewing bee is very different from perhaps the challenge that you would give yourself and in sewing bee you don't get extra marks for drafting your own pattern so you'll see some people who've made really complex garments perfectly following a pattern getting just as much praise as someone who has drafted that pattern themselves i have always thought that there should be extra marks given for drafting your own pattern and i think actually these trousers they look fantastic i think gathering rather than pleating is better for this fabric but it's not what he intended and the fit of the top isn't what he intended but again he's self-drafting and he's he didn't practice that's silly but i'm not a great one for prep myself i understand it's a shame it's a six now the judges very much made this a straight race between Steve and Richie. I have another person who I think could have been down in that range. This might 
come as a surprise to some because she's a very, very good sewist, but I don't think Angela had the best week. Her pattern challenge was fine. No problem there. I gave it a four out of five. Her transformation, decent. I gave that a four out of five. It, you know, she, she hit the assignment. I wouldn't wear it in a million years, but she hit the assignment. Her made to measure was unfinished. It fit just as badly as Richie's did. And she was sewing it from a pattern. So if I gave Richie a six, I'm giving Angela a five. And that puts her in my rankings level with Steve, who is next. I just, I think her made to measure, let's say it doesn't measure up. Um, yeah, I, I just think it looks messy. I know part of that is, lin is that it's linen and linen's always gonna look a little bit looser around the edges, but the judges just glossed over it and I, I thought this was not as good as Richie's. So, on to Steve who, God bless him, had a terrible first day. His pattern challenge, let's not talk about it, it's a one. His transformation challenge, I thought the judges were way too harsh on this. Okay, the stripes don't match in the front, but he's done shorts. He's followed the brief. Like the shorts look like they fit nicely. I think that's a solid middle of the park three. It's fine. He didn't need to beat himself up that much. His made to measure was great. That's a nine. Any day of the week, that's a nine. Really nice. But again, following a pattern, doing something he is very accustomed to doing, where Richie really, really was pushing himself out of his comfort zone. So, I'm just saying, I'm gonna miss Richie. Yeah, really, really nice made to measure. Loved it. Cute, wearable. Yeah, happy, happy. Not far above those people for me. Again, I feel like there are things that the judges just glossed over, both positive and negative this week, that maybe they did, maybe the judges didn't, but in the edit, that's how it came out. But um, next up on the list for me is Jill. Her pattern challenge, fine. Couple of little things here and there, it's a three and a half. I do really like her choice of fabric. I think that's really, really pretty. And particularly the way that the shearing um, impacts the print across the bust. I think it looks really pretty. Her transformation challenge. Now, didn't the judges specifically instruct them to include some of the crochet and macrame trim? And then didn't they say when judging this, oh, it would look better without the trim? Make up your minds, lads. Make up your minds. It's one or the other. Now, I've only given this a three because I don't think it's massively imaginative and I don't think it's massively transformative. And if you're just going to do this, then please press it. Please. But that's a tiny thing. Made to measure for me was where she kind of fell down. I thought it wasn't very ambitious. And the fit wasn't amazing. I know they're both supposed to be like slightly comfy fit, but it was fine. It's a seven. Next on the list for me is uh, possibly as well going to come as something of a surprise to some people because this is very different from what the judges ranked them. But for me, Deborah is kind of middle of the pack this week. Pattern challenge was fine. Except that she missed that whole chunk of shearing. How, how do you miss that? If you're gonna miss that, just join the skirt a little bit higher so that you don't notice it. And it's just a bit more of an empire line rather than a long, anyway. I, I, I gave that a three, it's fine. Her transformation, I liked well enough. I liked the asymmetry of it. I gave that a four. Her made to measure was very nice, I've given it a nine. Nothing wrong with it. It's solid. The judges were very, very taken with her pleating, which I have seen 
about in patterns that does exist. It's not wildly complicated to do. It's well executed, don't get me wrong. It's a really nice, clean outfit. Very well sewn, very well considered. I, I, what I liked about it actually was the colour. I think it stands really well. But um, it's, a, it's a nine. It's a good. It's a good garment. Don't get me wrong. I just didn't think it was as impactful as some of the others. Next up to this for me is Marnie. Another cracking week for Marnie. Really good scores across the board for everyone from this point on. Honestly, I think Marnie's pattern challenge was great. A couple of little things tiny little things here and there um very very wearable very pretty really good choice of fabric i thought very cottage crawl her transformation challenge i thought the judges were way too harsh on they put her bottom second from bottom just because they didn't like the black on it where's where's the logic someone tell me where the logic is in that because i thought it was nice it actually looks wearable I don't like the black, don't get me wrong, I don't, I don't, I'm not defending the black ribbon. I just think you don't put it second from bottom just for the black ribbon, do you know? I thought her made to measure was, was good. Really nice, clean, lovely, looks comfy, looks considered, looks stylish, I've given it a nine. Lovely, really nice. Marnie is fabulous, I'm, I'm happy to see as much of Marnie as this show wants to give me. Um, I've actually got her there's three people tied for second place and two people tied for first place in my rankings. That's how good I thought everyone was this week. So tied for second place, along with Marnie, is Manyi, who I think, again, had crack it week. Her pattern challenge was super cute. I love, loved her colour choice. There were some technical errors in it, which is why it's a three and a half, which is a shame, but really really beautiful i love this i actually want to make this <laughs> her transformation challenge she's using the macrame she's following the brief and yeah it looks daft but for, for following the brief i'm giving her a four it you know it, it hangs together well it'll be it looks it looks like a deck chair but it's it's fine I know it wasn't a deck chair, it was a hammock, but same difference, right? Her made to measure was glorious. Oh my days, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful and very difficult to fit that kind of bodice. It looks so sweet on the model. Just, just, darling, darling. Patrick was right about the fit of the, about the fit of the shorts that you want um, pleats to sit flat and to sit closed, which I don't know if they even are on this, to be fair. I, I might have a slightly bigger bum than the person that this was made for. Oops. So yeah, this situation, you want the pleats to sit, sit flat and they weren't quite... She could have put another inch in the old rear area to let that sit flat, but that's such a tiny nitpick. This is such a good outfit. You would feel a middle... If you looked like that, you would wear that and you would feel fantastic. My third person who is tied for second place this week is someone I think is being criminally overlooked in this show, and that is Annie. You hardly saw her all episode. Where was she? I mean, on one hand, when I'm watching a show and I hardly see a contestant that I like, I'm slightly relieved because I know it means they're not going home. But at the same time, I think Annie had such a cracking week and she deserved a lot more love for it. So, Annie's pattern challenge, lovely, lovely, nice, pretty, cute, giving it a four. Annie's transformation challenge, again, I thought the judges were just, what were they thinking? They asked the contestants to incorporate the trimmings. And then they complained when she incorporated the trimmings. I agree it would look better without, but that wasn't the assignment. I think what she's done is a beautifully fitted bodice there. If you look at how it fits across across the bust of that mannequin, 
and the perfect matching of the stripes doing this that's an absolutely cracking job it's a four and a half any day of the week her made to measure sublime it's a nine it's a nine any day of the week it's a nine there's fit issues which is why it's not a ten it's beautiful this is exactly the kind of thing you want when you think summer co-ord is perfect except for the fit so it's a nine if you're keeping track there are two people left and they are both tied for first place i'm going to go through the person I think when there's a tie for first place, you lean towards the person with the better made to measure. So, both of these had great made to measures, but in just half a step behind first place. Christian, wonderful week for Christian this week. Oh, just, just, yeah, just brilliant. His pattern challenge was so pretty, so cute. Just, there are teensiest, tiniest little flaws in it, which knocks it down to a four and a half, but it's perfectly wearable, it's gorgeous. His transformation challenge was blooming brilliant and wildly, wildly underscored by the judges. I just, it's so good. The they pointed out all of the things that are great about it, matching the binding to the zip, the way the stripes go across the sleeves. It Okay, I'm never going to wear it in a million years, but at a festival or something like that, I can see this being sold and being worn and being absolutely rocked by someone in teeny tiny hot pants, having a, the time of their life. It This... I don't know if it's because... I just felt the indignation of the judges not recognising how great it was. But I've given this a five. Because it's great. And to do that in that amount of time is just brilliant. It's perfectly matched at the front. That stripe is so good. It's so good. It's five. He's made to measure. Do you know what? I scored Steve a nine, I'm giving Christian a nine, because they've done basically the exactly same thing and they've done it to exactly the same standard. So I thought that was fair, giving them the same marks. It's cute. It's nice. It's wearable. He's followed a pattern. He's done it neatly and cleanly. So, surprisingly, for summer week, having the best week of her entire life, Brogan. Obviously, it's got to be Brogan. It has to be. That pattern challenge, she she could have done this in her sleep and done just as good as good of a job, I'm sure. This is so perfect, so absolutely everything about it is just screaming from the rooftops perfect. It's a five out of five. There is, show me the flaws, there are none. Her transformation challenge, I think she did a decent job. I'm not mad keen on the asymmetry of the skirt, but that's just me. She's done a decent job. She's done a top and a skirt. Very simple like wrap around situation, but it looks beachy. You know what I've knocked her a point off for? Not using enough of the trim. Just out of spite for everyone else, getting knocked down for using the trim when they were told to. Her made to measure though, it's glorious. It's absolutely glorious. It's a nine and a half. Um, I love it. I just think it's beautiful. It screams summer. It screams joy. It's just gorgeous. Esme didn't like that it tied at the front and the back. I don't care. Sometimes that's what you want when you're going on holiday. You want something that will still fit after you've been, you know, hammering the all you can eat buffet for two weeks. Where are the problems? I see no problems. The only thing I knocked like half a mark for, off for is that the fabric had slipped slightly at that side hem of the trousers, but that's kind of what happens sometimes when you're working with a tricky slippery fabric. Um, I think it's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, this one and Manny's for me were both nine and a half. Cracking job, ladies. Really cracking job. So, that's... Uh, that's this week's uh, little sewing bee roundup. 
Do you agree? Do you disagree? I like it when you disagree. Please leave a comment. <laughs> Um, remember to follow us over on Craft World. We have a free weekly sewing bee newsletter you can go over and sign up for with uh, free patterns, tutorials, hints, tips, insider information when we can get it. Um, if you like this dress, it's the Simple Sew Grace, uh, which is available from craftworld.com and it's also included in Inspired to Create Sewing, which should be still on some shelves in the UK. If not, you can buy it from Craftstash. Don't forget to subscribe to this here YouTube channel. We have had to start again from scratch. So please, please, please hit that subscribe button. It does us so many favors and that's it from me. I will see you again next week, hopefully. And um, yes, I'm going to uh, fire up this bad boy and actually put my money where my mouth is and do some sewing for once in my life. And that's me signing off.